Dear students, welcome to my channel, Learn to Live. In this video series, we will be discussing the 8th Standard Science, chapter by chapter, based on NCERT, or CBSE syllabus. In the previous video, we learned chapter 2, Microorganisms, Friend and Foe. Those who missed that chapter, or need a revision, please go and watch it. The link is given in the description. So without any delay, let us go to today's chapter. Chapter 3. Synthetic Fibers and Plastics There are lot of items around us, which are made from synthetic fibers, and plastics. Clothes, car seat belts, toothbrush, toys, chairs, are some of the examples of objects made with synthetic fibers and plastics. Let us learn about synthetic fibers and plastics in detail. What are synthetic fibers? The clothes that we wear are made with fabrics. And fabrics are made from fibers. Depending on the source from which we obtain the fiber, it is classified into natural fibers. These are obtained from nature, such as cotton, silk, wool, etc. Synthetic or man made fibers. These are made by human beings with chemical substances. Let us learn about synthetic fibers. Consider the following example. Like in the above example, synthetic fibers are also a chain of small units joined together. In our case, each small unit is a chemical substance. Many such chemical substances combine to form a large single unit called a polymer. The word poly means many, and mer means unit. So polymer means many repeating units. Types of synthetic fibers There are four types of synthetic fibers. They are rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic, rayon. This synthetic fiber is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp. Their properties are similar to that of silk. Thus they are also called artificial silk. It is very cheap compared to natural silk, but can be woven like silk fibers. It can be dyed in a wide variety of colors. It is mixed with wool to make carpets, and cotton to make bed sheets. Nylon. This is the first synthetic fiber. It is obtained from coal, water, and air. It is strong, elastic, and lightweight. It is shining and easy to wash. Thus it became very popular for making clothes. It is even stronger than a steel wire, thus used in the making of ropes and parachutes, curtains, car seat belts, toothbrushes, ropes, tents, etc. are made with nylon. Polyester. It is made up of the repeating units of a chemical called ester. Ester is the chemical that gives smells for the fruits. The fabrics made with polyester will not get wrinkled easily and it is easy to wash. Terrelene is a popular polyester, which can be drawn into very fine fibers and can be woven like any other cloth material. PET is also a popular polyester, which is used to make bottles, films, wires, and utensils, acrylic. These synthetic fiber are used to make sweaters, shawls, and blankets because these things made with acrylic resembles natural wool in appearance. It is shining and easy to wash. Thus it became very popular for making clothes. It is even stronger than a steel wire, thus used in making ropes and parachutes, curtains, car seat belts, toothbrushes, ropes, tents, etc. are made with nylon. Characteristics of Synthetic Fiber Synthetic fibers, or man-made fibers possess unique characteristics, which makes them a popular material for the making of dress and other materials. Some of the characteristics of synthetic fibers are, they dry up quickly, they are durable, they are less expensive, they are readily available, they are easy to maintain. Let us now learn about plastics. Like synthetic fibers, plastic is also a polymer. 
the arrangement of units in all plastics is not the same. Like in some plastics, the arrangement of units are linear, and in some others, it is cross-linked as shown below. Plastic is easily moldable, and can be shaped in any form. It can be recycled, reused, melted, colored, made into thin wires, or rolled into sheets. That is why, we can see many items around us made with plastics. Deformation of Plastics We know that some plastic can be bent easily, while some break when we try to bend. You will also understand that, some plastics will be deformed with hot water, or air. Those plastics, which get deformed easily on heating, and can be bent easily are called thermoplastics. So they are very useful in the making of toys, combs, and various items. Polythene and PVC are some examples of thermoplastics. Those plastics, which once molded cannot be softened by heating are called, thermosetting plastics. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Bakelite and melamine are two examples of thermosetting plastics. Bakelite is used in the making of electrical switches, handles of various utensils, etc., as it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Melamine is used widely and is a versatile material. It is used to make floor tiles, kitchenware, and fabrics which resist fire. Because, melamine can resist fire, and tolerate heat better than other plastics. Now let us see some examples of thermoplastics, and thermosetting plastics. Plastics as materials of choice. Plastic is one of the most widely chosen material in the world, because of its characteristics. Let us see what are the characteristic properties of plastics. Plastic is non-reactive. Plastic is light. Plastic is strong. Plastic is durable. Plastics are poor conductors. Plastic is non-reactive. Unlike metals. Plastics do not react with water and air, so they are not corroded easily. Therefore plastic is used to store various kinds of materials, including many chemicals. Plastic is light, strong, and durable. Plastic is used for various purposes, because it is light, strong, durable, and can be molded into different sizes and shapes. They are also very cheaper than metals. Plastics are poor conductors. Electrical cables and handles of screwdriver are plastic covered. Also, handles of frying pans are also plastic covered. Because plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Plastics and the environment. We have a lot of plastics around us. Like toys, covers, bottles, and many more items. After our usage, almost all the plastics go to garbage, or we can say to the environment. This makes the environment polluted, if not managed well. The materials which get decomposed through natural processes, such as action by bacteria, are called biodegradable materials. The materials which are not easily decomposed through natural processes are called non-biodegradable materials. Plastic takes several years to decompose, so it is not environment friendly. Also while burning plastics, a lot of poisonous fumes are released into the atmosphere, which also causes pollution. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. Example table. Please read the table completely, to understand more about biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. How we can control plastic pollution in the environment. Avoid the use of plastics as far as possible. Use bags made with jute or cotton.
instead of plastic for shopping. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes should be collected separately and disposed of separately. Try to recycle plastic wastes. Most of the thermoplastics can be recycled as they can be molded to another item or itself again by heating process. Try to implement 4R principle, reduce, reuse, recycle, and recover. Now let us revise the chapter with the help of some question and answer. For each question, think for 5 seconds. Question 1. Explain why some fibers are called synthetic. Question 2. Mark the correct answer. Rayon is different from synthetic fibers because Question 3. Fill in the blanks with appropriate words. Question 4. Give examples which indicate that nylon fibers are very strong. Question 5. Explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food. Question 6. Explain the difference between the thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Question 7. Explain why the following are made of thermosetting plastics. Question 8. Categorize the materials of the following products into can be recycled and cannot be recycled. Question 9. Rana wants to buy shirts for summer. Should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material? Advise Rana, giving your reason. Question 10. Give examples to show that plastics are non-corrosive in nature.
Question 11. Should the handle and bristles of a toothbrush be made of the same material? Explain your answer. Quest question 12. Avoid plastics as far as possible. Comment on this advice. Question 13. Match the terms in column 1 with the phrases given in column 2. Question 14. Manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually helping conservation of forests. Comment.